Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, today we're going back over to the Wild Beer Company and we are looking at a bottle of the Millionaire which is described as salted caramel plus chocolate plus milk stout. Drink wildly different. So yeah, it's a, a milk stout with uh, salted caramel and chocolate. Sort of like the Millionaire shortcake, is it a shortbread? I can never remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, I know that this is um, a really, really highly regarded beer by uh, a lot of people whose opinion I take very, very seriously. So, uh, yeah, I picked this up in the, the local booths near to me, which I was so happy that they stocked it. And I did initially pick this up for Christmas, but never got around to, to drinking it. So I'm drinking it now, after Christmas. Um, not that it really matters. So this is clocking in at 4.7% in a fringe foam mill bottle. Uh, 1.6 UK units, so I'll quickly read you what it says on the back, even though all the information is down below. We believe exceptional brewing stems from imagination and passion. It's not just a process. Never average, every wild beer is a result of wild minds conceiving, creating and crafting beers that explore the boundaries of a palate. Brewing doesn't need to be confined to rules, traditional ingredients, by adding a wild fifth ingredient or process to our beers, we want to give you a truly memorable drinking experience, altering your perceptions and thrilling your taste buds. So sometimes a drink can make you feel so decadent it's like you're a millionaire. This beer wraps you in a velvety cocoon, dresses you in a smart suit and takes you out for a special night out on the tiles. Sweet and salty collide in this rich, balanced and smooth dessert stout. Lactose, caramel and high quality Valrhona cacao nibs provide a chocolate and caramel sweet backbone alongside the roasty malts, whilst Cornish sea salt gives a savoury salt kick, raising this beautiful beer above the norm. Salted caramel must be the dessert of the decade, and this beer yields the perfect blend of sea salt and caramel in a full-bodied chocolatey stout. Thank you, God. Yeah, I'm not religious, but if beers like this not only exist, but taste as good as they imagine, as I imagine them to be, I, I can see this being a somewhat religious experience, but um, I jest, of course. But yeah, always iconic artwork from Wild Beer Company, and there is the Wild Beer Company crown. So, um, looking forward to drinking this one, because I, I do love salted caramel. I love it in whatever dessert I can, especially when it comes to like a Ben and Jerry's do a good salted ice cream cho uh, salted chocolate ice salted caramel ice cream can't remember what it's called but also Hagen does do a nice one as well which I think it's got I think they've both got coffee in so um, yeah I do like Ben and Jerry's as you can probably tell by this but um, yeah I'm just Oh, already on the neck of the bottle for god's sake this looks good smells good see I'm, I'm stumbling over my own words so i'm it'd be great to see if a stout like this with such a low abv even though it's not really that low uh can hold all these flavors i'm just going to pour it all in i usually save a little bit but i just want to get this in the glass and poured and it was really pointless saving that last little bit because only a little bit came out. But uh, how many times can you say a little bit in one video, Peter? Anyway, beer in a glass then. In the glass, I should say. God, my English has gone terrible. Uh, that's not completely jet black. As you can see, some nice oaky uh, light bleeding through the edge of the glass. But it's a dark, really like opaque, almost, depending on which light you look at it, jet black beer. But it's not jet black beer. So why bring up the point that it's not jet black beer if you can clear the model? It looks like it's jet black beer on camera, doesn't it, Peter? But, um, yeah, really dark, intense colour, that's what I wanted to say. And then a lovely tan head, which, it's leaving some nice lacing, but there's not too much there. But anyway, looks good. Let's see what we get on the aroma. Definitely, definitely get that caramel. Almost like it's just about to burn. Like that almost like creme brulee sort of aroma as well. A little bit of a, a roasted coffee element in there. 
lovely sort of chocolate milk aroma. Reminds me of like, you know, you've had like chocolate based cereal. And there's still little flecks of the chocolate in the milk afterwards, which has absorbed all that like grainy goodness, which is, you know, a guilty pleasure in its own right. But it's got that sort of like milk after you've had like some nice, did I do chocolate Cheerios? I don't know, but that's the sort of impression I'm getting. Lovely, roasty, sweet, decadent malt character. It's so rich on the nose, it really, really is. It's reminded me of um, more of like a, more of an imperial sort of stout. One of these pastry stouts that are so popular right now. You do get that like slight salty kick as well, but there's almost like a, a black pepper character in there also. But that lactose, again, going back to that like milkiness. Oh, it just smells absolutely wonderful. So uh, hopefully it tastes as good as it smells and looks. Cheers. I always like to think I taste better than that. Won't go there. Don't ruin a review with vulgar jokes, Pierre. That's Beer Tube 101 right there. Anyway, cheers, guys. You've got to be kidding me. There is no way that that is only a 4.7% beer. Such a lovely bold body to it. I mean, it's not a heavy body, don't get me wrong. But it's got that sort of like semi-skimmed uh, semi milkiness about it. Lovely and velvety. That lactose is just wonderfully added in this beer. It's roasty up front. Then this lovely chocolatey flavour comes through. That like darkened caramel comes through as well. A little bit of like a salty prickliness, although the salt is rather subdued. You know, it's not like what you'd get from a goes, which you wouldn't want that really. You wouldn't want that like big powerful saltiness. I've had salt caramel before where there's been a bit too much emphasis on the salt. But here it's just right. It not only like does what salt does brilliantly, you know, in baking, where it just lifts the other flavours, but you do get it in this. And it works really, really nicely. Lovely sort of like chocolate muesli sort of flavours coming out in this. Oh, it's amazing how bold it is. But dangerously drinkable. It's it's not too sweet or anything like that, but you would be mistaken for this to be like just a dessert drink as opposed to an actual beer. I mean, of course you do taste the beeriness. Uh, brilliant beer terms coming out today. It's absolutely wonderful. And again, that creme brulee actually tastes like a creme brulee as well. A little bit of like a, a fudge brownie character coming out. I mean, I know like the likes of Omnipolo with their sort of like dessert pastry sauce, they're throwing all sorts of artificial flavourings and you know these weird and wonderful adjuncts into it to get these bold, sweet, cakey, um, like glazed flavours. But this, it actually tastes like you've got a fucking, pardon the language, but like one of the like a Danish pastry, right? Covered it in chocolate and put it in the beer. And that's what it tastes like to me. It tastes like that, you know, that pastry where there's like they sprinkled it with sugar as it's cooking and it's caramelized on top. So you get that slight like lovely flaky, sweet, decked and butteriness. Bear with me when I say buttery in a beer like this, trust me. Like a glazed pastry or a like a glazed dough like character. And you've got all this like lovely chocolate caramel, uh like chocolate muffins crumbled into it. It is very desserty without being too sickly sweet. And if I'm just amazed at the body of this beer. I really, really am. I could drink this all day. It's just so lovely. 
and balanced. You get everything it promises. But there's nothing overpowering. And it doesn't get too sickly or too much. But at the same time, it doesn't shy away. And that body and that velvety milkiness coming from that lactose just helps carry those flavours in such a decadent, decadent way. And I think it's that beauty of the sea salt. Because again, it's not too much. It, it, you, know, you get it slightly on the back end after you've finished. But it doesn't taste salty. But if you lick your lips, you get that saltedness, if that makes sense. God, how many friggin' times do I... I don't know. Just some of the stuff that comes out my mouth that I'm aware of doing a beer review, and I'm like, Peter, turn the camera off, go for a walk, reassess your life, come back and redo it. But, yeah, just a, a beautiful, a genuinely beautiful beer. It's got everything you want from a salted caramel um, <laughs> beer. Fantastic stuff. Right, salted caramel chocolate milk stout. You know, almost a religious experience right now. And I picked that up from a supermarket. Come on. For like, like less than £2. Are you kidding me? Should have picked up more. But I actually think that was the last one in the, the shop I was in. The boobs I was in. So it's just fate, and I'll definitely, definitely be picking up uh, more of this. And I'd be interested to see if they do an actual Imperial Strength version of this one. But at the same time, I don't think they need to. Because this has those flavours there, with, without that like booziness. And maybe just a slightly lighter body than you would get from a, an Imperial or a Double Stout. But again, I don't. I would not change or do anything else with this beer. I think they're onto a winner with that one, and I can definitely see why people absolutely love this beer. So I think it's safe to say, ladies and gentlemen, that that's a ten out of ten from me because I love this beer. I want more of it. I'm going to buy more of it. And if you haven't tried it, do yourselves a favour and pick it up. I know my good friend Tony Howard is a massive fan of this one, and I can definitely see why. It's almost gone. So if you've tried this, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Uh, are you a fan of uh, Wild Beer Company? Uh, any recommendations of some of the beers that you like that you'd like me to check out in the future? Feel free to let me know. As always, if friends and uh, friends of the Clueless Drinker have uh, reviewed this, then their reviews are down below. Check out my Wild Beer playlist. It's starting to grow now. Uh, even Dwarves started small. A little bit of a cinematic reference there for you guys um answers on a postcard for that uh but yeah check out wild beer company check out my stout playlist check out my uh, beers i bought for booze playlist because i bought some pretty damn special beers from there as to be said and more importantly i hope you'll join me next time for another beer review that isn't 14 minutes long thank you guys for watching and i shall hopefully see you all later cheers <laughs>